What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Blitzwanger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7. Today, we've got a bit of a detour for the video. I know what you're saying. Aren't we supposed to continue LB? Aren't we supposed to conclude a Lego Brick Adventures and we will because we're 93.8% completion so obviously we're going to go on ahead and try to tackle the last few remaining elements but but we do have to keep in mind that we do need to do something before we're able to continue and that is head to Diagon Alley and then Nocturne Alley where there's a special level that is awaiting for us. Now, of course, don't forget, guys, if you do enjoy the video, hit that like button. Without further ado, let's make our way up here. And over in this area, there's this arc here that you can walk through, and that teleports you to a very cool level. This is something that most, if not all, LEGO games have, where there's kind of like a bonus level where you need to go on ahead and collect one million... I want to do like the Dr. Evil with the finger on the side of the mouth thing, you know. One million studs must be collected in order to successfully 100% complete the game. So, uh, without further ado, here we are. It looks like we have Harry Potter and Hermione as the two characters that they give you uh, in order to try to complete this. And the issue is that I still seem to have the weird glitch where it's not showing me my actual stud count. So I'm going to have to pause sometimes. We're 90... Or actually, I think we're at 10... Yeah, 11,000 points now. So that's kind of neat. I am a tad bit confused as to why these are spawning just at random. Like, I can't see where they're going to spawn, so... That's kind of annoying. Ooh, we do have a character swapper here. Oh, maybe it's not a character swapper. I think it's actually just super strength. Maybe. Oh, no, it is a character swapper. Cool. So should we need the assistance of another character, we would have that available. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so what's up with all these pillars? They do seem to be rewarding us with a pretty significant amount of studs. So for what that's worth, I guess that's kind of neat. Okay, Hermione, we need your help here. This almost makes it a bit more fun, not knowing how many exactly studs we have, because it just lets us focus on the actual game, and then afterwards we're going to be able to take a look at the specific stud count, so we'll update that in a tad bit. For now, though, staying focused on just trying to collect as many studs as possible. Okay. Where did that just go? Hello. Oh, whoa! Okay. That was a pretty significant reward right there. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna need a dark wizard character at some point here. That's for sure. Wait. I'm confused. There we go. Okay. I am really... Oh, is it supposed to be like a podium? For like first, second, and third place? Is that what it is? So then it would be... Whoops. No, no, no. Okay, this is kind of terribly difficult to move around. Okay. This goes... No. Yep. There we go. Okay, why is that not wanting to stay there? Okay, so that's kind of a podium, isn't it? Okay, well, so I thought. Clearly, the game disagrees with me for some odd reason. It is also interesting that, from what I can tell... The stud magnet is working, which is kind of surprising, because usually on these levels, they cancel your stud magnet abilities. Or at least they used to, so I, I don't recall that being the case in previous LEGO games. Like, from what I remember... They used to remove your ability from being able to just... Um, collect... Uh, studs using the stud magnet, so that's kind of interesting. 
Okay, I'm quite frankly shocked at how many studs we can get from this thing. But it is a pretty significant amount, clearly. Okay. I don't think it can get pulled any further there. Okay, now you got the little pumpkin copters here. Let's see. Let's maintain our tour here of the miniaturized version of the Harry Potter world. So usually for these, yep, they have like a, a driving sort of challenge for you. And again, you have to keep in mind, each one of these studs is only worth a thousand. So it seems like a lot, but when you're trying to gather a million studs, it really is not quite as significant of a number as it might initially seem. Okay, let's use that. And the bag ability spawns a soccer net. Okay, interesting. Wait, what? How did she just do that? What is that spell that puts the enemy into like a bubble effect? I've literally never seen that before. That's interesting. That was definitely something new. Okay, so before we carry on, I do think it might be a good idea. Oh, I just hit something else for more studs. Is there more studs that you can collect from this thing, maybe? Huh. What was it that... It cast a spell on to, to allow us to get more loot there. That was interesting. I don't know what it was. Huh. Okay. Well, regardless, what we need to do is we need to swap into someone who has the dark magic ability in order to try to interact with some of these other elements. So let's go to Salazar Slytherin here, who hopefully should be able to help. Okay, that definitely helps. Okay. Are there any more possible studs from this thing? I think not. There's something here. Let's find out what this is. Whoa. Okay. Pretty decent number of studs right there. Okay, and then there's something else that we're supposed to probably collect here, right? Okay. So, this now, I think, clears out this area. Okay, random flower spawn. Are there any more of these here, maybe? They're supposed to spawn. Hello? Just that one? Because it's odd enough, but sometimes literally these will be the things that you're missing, and that's how you miss out on studs. It's quite frustrating. So let's see how we're doing so far. What? <laughs> I'm like, we must be probably... Like, I was going to guess. I'm like, maybe, I don't know, 300, 400,000 studs, but we're at 170,000 studs. Okay, it's time to pick up the pace. It is time to pick up this pace, I tell ya! It's time for us to unlock some studs, folks. It is time we hurry up and get some studs unlocked. Because this is absolutely pathetic. Gotta pick up the pace here. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. So... From the looks of it, it seems as though we're supposed to... Are we supposed to cast a red spell onto this? Yep. They always have a section of these levels where you have to spell out the word Lego. So this is obviously no different. It's interesting that this time they actually put like a... Tab that specifically reads Lego. Because usually they don't give you that hint. It's up to you to figure it out. But if you've played any Lego game... Or several Lego games, ideally. You would be obviously well aware of that already. Okay. I don't know how that exactly helped there, but cool. 
So there's obviously some way that we're supposed to still find the letter G. To add to this. Okay. Let's see what this does. It does absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's interact with this, I guess. Let's see what this does. Whoa! It's like a slingshot. <laughs> like, out of, made out of buildings, though. It's obviously quite a unique slingshot. Okay. That's interesting. So this drawbridge gets taken out, and then you earn a pretty ridiculous amount of rewards for that. So that's kind of nice. Okay, here's the Hogwarts Express, or I guess a miniaturized version of the Hogwarts Express. And you can power it up with some coal, because it's a coal train, and I guess off it goes. Do its thing. Cool. That's pretty neat. Definitely kind of cool. Alright, so that should give us a tad bit more collectibles, and I think... I think that's pretty much everything that we could cast spells onto there. So I think we're good there. Still got to figure out this thing. Okay. A pretty ridiculous amount of studs hidden right there. Just in the corner. And you can't go through the tunnel there. How are we doing? Nice. Look at that. Now we're at 369,000 studs. There we go. Ah, we're picking up the pace. Took a little while to get started, clearly. But now we're rocking and now we're rolling. Okay, there's a pretty insane amount of studs right here. Okay, so let's see, what are we supposed to reassemble here? Seems like some sort of a plant item. And then, are you supposed to take it down maybe as well? Does that give you additional reward? It might have. I think we got a little bit of studs from that. Okay. Now, that looks like a teleporter. So we'll check that out in a little bit. First, let's take a look at what else is available here. So this is like a miniaturized uh, field of Quidditch, right? Which is pretty neat. It's very cool how they're able to miniaturize a lot of elements from whatever LEGO game you're playing through. And then in a miniaturized form, you kind of get to explore the entire world of those particular characters or that particular franchise or brand. But obviously in a much more condensed and miniaturized variation. Okay, so I don't know if those... Do those fireworks give us unlockables again? Okay, so this key goes there. And then you have this giant opening roof. Is this... This is not Hagrid's house, is it? It sort of looks a little bit like it. Like Hagrid's hut, but... I am quite frankly uncertain. If that is the case. I am certain that you get a ridiculous amount of studs just by... Oh, there's the Hogwarts Express arriving again! Just shrieked. What, what was that in sight? This is also terrifying. It's like a wardrobe that turns into a giant monster. Okay. So the Hogwarts Express has arrived again, which is interesting. We also are supposed to cast Aquamenti on this. So you can see, they try to hide things. Luckily for us, we're... Pretty quick, and we notice these things, so we don't miss out on much. Okay. So we get a tad bit more studs collected from that. Then there's got to be a spell. It should allow us to open this chest. That's Lumos, I believe, is the name of it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you're supposed to destroy these even further. Huh. I guess only those ones were destructible, because for some reason this one right next to it is not. Even though it's the exact same item for the most part. Usually these snowballs, they kind of like scale up. I guess that one doesn't. 
Okay. Let's check out this area. See what we have missed here. Can't really do much about that. There we are. Oh, that's a whole lot of owls right there. There's a weird staircase that you have to reassemble, I guess. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> you just turned that top part of the Hogwarts building into essentially a helicopter. Okay, so that one seems to be indestructible. But there must be a way to get all these other studs collected, so we'll figure that out here in just one second. And I'm also aware of the fact that there's at least two spots where you can teleport. Which we haven't even checked out. I also wonder, guys, leave your predictions right now. We're going to check in just a second. Are we at half a million studs already? Because I think we are. If I had to guess, I think we are. So let's find out. Wow, we're actually at 600,000 studs already. So that's pretty fantastic. Can definitely be happy with the progress so far. But still a ways to go. Okay, what's up with all these spiders that are appearing? That's interesting. Oh, wait, you can... I think you can destroy the spiders, maybe? Okay. So once you've destroyed the spot, Ah, and then you can clear out the tree as well. So you have to kind of complete this in sections. So sometimes that's how they get you, is... You think that you're done because you think that there's nothing else that you could do there. But instead, what you're supposed to do is just cast the spells several different times separately. And then you get the uh, unlockables that come along with that. Okay, so we've seen the bus thing here already before. So that's nothing new. What's up with these things? Okay, so you got these, like, Christmas trees here, sort of. Or maybe spruce trees, really. Is what they're supposed to be. As well as a whole lot of other plants. You supposed to pull this vehicle out of there, maybe? Okay, well, that's one way to clear things out. I guess that's kind of helpful as well, isn't it? If you're able to just sort of drive around, you're able to go on ahead and clear out objects that way, too. I didn't even think about that. That you can actually collect loot that way. Too. Okay, so, I've noticed a few of these other, like, plant items. So, obviously, we need to clear that out. I don't know what these mushroom items are. That seem to spawn in every now and again. Okay. Wait, can we not get our character to go in there? Wait, so how are you supposed to get those studs back there? There must be a way. Did that thing also do anything? I don't think it did, did it? Okay, you have the random... Mushrooms spawning. Okay, so let's see. A few more plants things that spawn here. Then there's the giant Lego truck that appears. So we're going to gather a lot of studs that way, which is nice. Are you supposed to maybe... Oh, no. I was getting concerned. I was like, does that thing not go backwards at all? Okay. So then we get to assemble the last letter here. Okay, so that's Lego assembled. Get a pretty decent amount of studs there. How are we doing? 737,000 at least. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so I did see a digging spot over here as well. Are there more plants that spawn here? I don't know, because, again, I'm not sure if we've missed any of them. If we have, it'd be very difficult to even know, to be quite honest. 
I guess you could use this thing to dig. If you didn't have the right character unlocked yet, I guess. Oh. Okay, well, good to know that you can take that stuff down as well. Doesn't do much. So can this thing dig? It sure can. Sweet. So you can either use a character for this or the vehicle that is available on the level. So, or in the level, I guess. That's kind of nice that it gives you the option. So that even if you don't have the right characters maybe unlocked yet, you could still play. I wonder, speaking of which, I wonder if this is the ball that you're supposed to bring. It's kind of tough because this ball is like all the way up here. And it's barely rolling. Okay, now it's starting to go. Careful. No, 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 no. This way. Okay. And Golasso. Hey, we scored. And then my guess is that you're probably supposed to do the same thing on the goal across. Or the net across, I guess. Yikes, how far is this thing? Wait, was it even further than... Now I'm starting to question if we're headed the right way. I think we are. Could have sworn it was like much closer. Where? Is, oh, there it is. Okay. I just wanted to go ahead to just see because I'm starting to get concerned. I'm like, are we even going the right way? Okay. So not a lot of studs from that, but at least something. So let's see where this teleporter takes us. I'm curious about that. I guess the answer is absolutely nowhere because it's not active for whatever reason, which is very interesting. Hmm. Okay. So for some reason that stuff was indestructible before. Maybe you're supposed to use Aquamenti on this? Ah, you are. Interesting. Come on. Okay. So that's another challenge that we've completed. I don't think we've missed anything here, did we? Okay. There was nothing in the corners here, right? That we had missed. I'm pretty sure we were. Okay. So let's go check out that other teleporter. Hopefully that takes us towards some more studs. Uh, how are we doing, by the way? 783,000 studs. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay. So... The teleporter, I think, was just all the way on the far side here, right? Yep, there it is. If we step into that... Oh. I... I'm so confused. I literally thought that this was like a teleporter. That would teleport you somewhere. Clearly, I thought incorrectly. Hmm. Maybe there's some way to earn studs from that, but... The game has not clarified that to us. That looks like you're probably supposed to use Aqua. Menti on this, right? Let's see, if we clear this out. It's supposed to be almost like a refueling, although again, it's a cold train, so it's not really refueling. I guess you're just resupplying it with water, right? And away you go, Hogwarts Express. I think you're ready for uh, a lift off, I guess. You're supposed to refill this again, maybe? No. Hmm. Thought there would be something you're supposed to do to like activate that bell or something. Okay, well, just had a spell go this way somehow. Oh, okay. 
Well, that clears things out a tad bit. Don't you think? Hey, this is going to be a pretty significant reward here. Oh, and now there's like a new path that has been created, which is pretty neat. Okay, let's make sure we don't miss out on any studs here first. Okay, so for this, you need the red spell. He doesn't... How's that possible that he doesn't have the red sp There it is. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, there's no way that he doesn't have the red spell. Okay. I am a little bit concerned that because I have that weird glitch with the um, stud counter disappearing, that that's why we don't see the, um, what are they called? The plants. Usually plants have like little studs that you can spot and they're not spawning for us, clearly. So we just have to kind of like, as you can see, randomly walk over our items and then they spawn. And that makes things a lot more difficult as far as trying to figure this out, as far as where are the missing studs that we need. 847,000 studs. That's pretty significant. Excited about that. We're doing a good job there. Okay. Actually, no studs to be had for all of that. Okay, so this is where things start to get challenging. Guess we didn't interact with this, these things here all that much. Because it was just that weird, like, catapult sort of thing. Get this thing activated. I don't think that there's much else we can activate there. So now this is one of those moments where you just have to sort of, to an extent, just randomly cast... ...spells? And hope... Oh, maybe you're supposed to put all three characters in there? Why it can't... Where... Did... Okay, that was, uh... Interesting. Wasn't there a Harry Potter character here just a second ago? Where in the heck did that character go? I am genuinely confused about this thing. What do they want you to build out of this? It just seems quite peculiar, that's all. I also feel for some reason like there's probably more studs that we're supposed to collect from this, maybe? Maybe... Hmm. That doesn't work. Okay, so what in the heck have we missed? I don't understand why this teleporter doesn't seem to work. I also don't necessarily know what this item is supposed to be. Uh-oh. The Lego truck is stuck. I think we've sort of done everything we could have up until this point but yet we are still missing 150,000 studs so obviously a pretty substantial number of studs still missing oh yo yo i wonder what it is that we have missed Guess maybe we should start paying attention. Maybe there's something else, like with Aquamenti or something like that. Again, this doesn't teleport you for whatever reason. I don't know why it doesn't actually teleport you anywhere. I thought it would. 
Okay, now that looks interesting, because that might require Aquamenti there. That might be another part of the puzzle figured out. Aha! Would you look at that, guys? So that helped a little bit. And I guess that based on that, this also requires Aquamenti. Okay. So now that's good, because we're starting to make significant progress and finding different elements that we're missing. Now this teleporter should work, because it actually has somewhere to teleport you to. Okay. There we go. Tad bit more of the collectibles acquired. Okay. So, let's teleport back. Now we're going to have to go take a look around again and see if there's anything else that requires Aquamenti that we might have missed. Another plant randomly spawning. Doesn't look like there's anything like that here. I guess we could maybe possibly check. Uh, where's... No, you don't. I thought maybe you're supposed to put water in into the pool here. There's nothing to be rewarded there. Uh, nothing here. Nothing there. How are we doing, by the way? Nice. Almost 900,000 points. So that's pretty good. Nothing else over here. Oh. Another random plant spawning. Which is... Would be very, 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 very extremely annoying if that's the thing we're missing. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that's destructi destructible, sorry, um, on this. I'm almost thinking... Are you supposed to... Because you can select these owls, which is sort of weird. Which makes me think. Okay. Oh my gosh. Something tells me. Yep. Here we go. Now you get to smash and bash all this stuff out of the way. Or at least a lot of it. Let's see. Is this destructible now? Nope. Is any of this destructible? Nope. Neither is that. Okay. <laughs> there I am getting all stoked because I'm like, yeah, now we'll be able to go on ahead and get a lot of points unlocked. And it's like, well, so you thought. Clearly that is not the case. Okay, so maybe this thing is not quite as powerful. As I had thought it would be. Because I thought that would be the um, the thing that could clear out all of these other objects. And it's like, well, clearly that's not the case. Huh. Looks like we need the dark wizard ability. But is he about to shrink? The Hogwarts Express? Okay. That's a new train that just came along. I mean, I guess that was kind of fun. The Hogwarts Express collecting a whole lot of loot for us. Come on. I guess that was that. How are we doing? 948,000 points. Whoa! Okay. Well, that train just destroyed the Hogwarts Express. So that wasn't pleasant. 
I'm trying to remember, was there, maybe there's, was there something here that maybe you're supposed to do? I wonder why this is even here, like this lever. Just seems a little peculiar, that's all. Oh, how did I just get studs? Huh. Did we collect any studs using this vehicle? Because I don't believe we did. Come on! Seems like at least partially that train is destructible. I am genuinely flustered right now, because I don't know what it is that we have missed. I know I've said that several times already. But I just honestly would not be able to tell you. Maybe these things do something else? Like maybe if you cast a red spell onto them? Since they are red bricks? Okay. And that did not work. Neither does this. The bus mission we've already finished. What are these little... Oh! Okay, these little icicles actually give you stuff. It's not a lot of studs, but... This is sort of better than nothing. I didn't even check. Maybe there's studs in there. I mean... I'm officially at a loss for words because, again, I had thought that this would be pretty... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it, folks. Is there going to be enough studs to be had from here that we will be able to go on ahead and... Collect enough. Okay. We need a safe key character. Here we go. Please tell me this is it. Is that enough studs? It is. Oh my gosh. Just as I was like, okay, this I might have to take a break here, but we did it. We earned the trophy. Collector's dream. We get the stud total. Of 1 million studs collected, it was not an easy task, as you can tell, clearly, by the length of this video. Not an easy task whatsoever, but we do succeed, which is wonderful, and we do earn ourselves yet another gold brick. So that is fantastic. Wait, just continue story? Oh, okay, because it just takes you back to Diagon Alley. Okay, cool. So, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, what does this mean? Well, it means that on the next episode of... That's such a weird view, like, when it zoomed in like that, I was, like, a little bit confused. On the next episode of LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7, we will indeed go on ahead and hopefully, not hopefully, we will complete the game, uh, and we will unlock all of the remaining objectives and items, whether it be the one more student in peril, the red power brick, the remaining eight characters, that's quite a few, uh, as well as, of course, the other three gold bricks. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's 1 million stud special, and I'll catch you guys here next time.